Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this poncho. It's all done a crochet. It's very easy to make. And here is the list of material you're gonna need to make it. To make this poncho, the yarn I'm going to use, they are from Loops and Thread Impeccable. This one has 128 grams, this one 100 grams. They are 100% acrylic, medium 4, and the color of this one is rouge, and the color of this one is folklore. The crochet hook is 6 mm. You're going to need tapestry needle to loose the tails and scissors. To start, I'm going to do a slip knot with this color. And I'm gonna do a chain of 84. Just like this. Once you have your 84 chain, you're gonna make sure it's not twisted, and you're gonna do a slip stitch in the first one, and you're gonna create a circle for the color. Now you're going to chain 3 and this counts as the first double crochet and you're going to do 11 until you have 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here I have 11, now number 12, I'm going to do a double crochet, chain 2, and another double crochet in the same space. Now I'm going to continue working until I have 19, so this will be number 1, 2, 3. Once you have 19, and number 20, we're going to do exactly the same. One double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet in the same space. Now in the next one, we're going to start counting until we have 21. And that's number one, two, three. Once you have 21, and number 22, we're going to do one double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet. You're going to continue working until you have 19, and then number 20, we're going to repeat exactly the same. Now I have to do my double crochet, chain 2, and another double crochet in the same space, and then I only have 11 more double crochet to do in the next 11 space. Now to finish, I'm going to count 1, 2, and then the third chain, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And we finish working with this color, and now we're going to start with this one. I was working in the design, and this is how the design is going to look like. It's like this. Now we're going to do a row of uh, treble crochet, with a skipping one in here, and chaining one for separation in the top. Now with the yarn, you're going to do a slip knot and create a loop. You're going to pass that loop through this one. You're going to pull the tail of this one and you're going to tie that change of color there. Now you're going to chain four. plus one five. Now we're going to do triple triple crochet. So I don't want to cut the yarn this one because this one is just to show you how to work until the size of the piece that I'm working with. The other side. So yarn over twice. You're going to skip this stitch and go to the next one and do a triple crochet. Chain one yarn over twice Skip that one, go to the next one, and a treble crochet. Chain 
chain one, yarn over twice, skip that one, and a treble crochet. Like that, you're gonna continue all the way until you get here. Here, we're gonna yarn over twice, go to this chain to a space, and do a treble crochet. Chain one, another treble crochet. chain one and another treble. In total you have three treble crochet in the chain to a space. Now you're gonna chain one, and over twice, skip that one, go to the next one and do a treble. Chain one, yarn over twice, skip that one, go to the next one and do a treble. Like that you're gonna continue all the way around, you're gonna create three treble crochet with the chain one space in each corner where you have the two chain space. I'm gonna finish this row with a chain one, count one, two, three, and a number four, do a slip stitch, and like that you finish that row. Now you're gonna chain three, one, two, and three, yarn over, and in that chain space there, you're gonna do a double crochet. And on top of the treble crochet, right on top, you're gonna do a double crochet. In the chain, in between the treble, you're going to do a double. And on top of the treble, you're going to do a double crochet. Like that, you're going to continue all the way until you get to the space here, where you have the three treble. Now we are at the beginning of the three treble. On top of this treble, you're going to do a double crochet. In the chain space, you're going to do another double crochet. In the center treble, you're going to do a double crochet. Now you're going to chain two, and you're going to do another double crochet in the same space. That will be two together. Now you're going to do in the chain space, one double crochet, and in the treble, you're going to do another double crochet. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around working one double crochet in, in the space in between each treble and in top of each treble. Here on top of the treble, another one. So in each corner you will have a double crochet in top of the first treble, a double crochet in the chain space, two double crochet with two chain space in top of the central treble and then another double crochet in the space and another double crochet in the last treble like that in the corner and the other one is one double crochet and another double crochet just right on top of the, that post we're gonna finish here one two three and the third chain doing a slip stitch now for the next row we're gonna chain four one two three and four we're gonna count one and two, and in the third uh, space, we're gonna do a single crochet. We're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna count one, two, and in the third, a single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Count one and two, again in the third, single crochet. One, two, three and four, one, two, and then the third, one, two, three, and four. Now in the center here of the chain two space, it's a single crochet. Again, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna count one and two, and then the third single crochet. Like that, you're gonna continue all the way around until you finish here with a slip stitch. Here I finish with a slip stitch in the first chain. Now I'm gonna do another slip stitch to bring the work a little higher. And now I'm gonna chain three, one, two, and three, and that count as the first double crochet of four that you're gonna do in that chain four space. So that's two. Three, 
and four. Go to the next four chain space and do exactly the same four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Again, to the next one. One, two, three, and four. Now to the next one. One, two, three, and four. Now this is the corner where you have the three treble, and here the space of chain two, and then here where you did a single crochet in the center. Now you're going to do two chain, and again go to the next space and do your four double crochet. Only in those corners you have the chain to a space. You're going to continue doing this all the way around. To finish this row, we're going to do a slip stitch in the third chain. And now we're going to do the repetition of the treble crochet here. That row is the repetition of those four rows. Okay? So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. One for separation. Yarn over twice, you're going to skip that stitch and you go to the next one and you're going to do a treble crochet. Chain one, yarn over twice, skip that stitch and go to the next one and do a treble crochet. Chain one, yarn over twice, skip that one and go to the next one and do a treble crochet. Like that you're going to continue all the way around until you get to the end that you're going to finish with a slip stitch and here where you have the two chain space you're going to do exactly the same as you did in here you have three treble crochet in the same space with a chain one space in between now I'm going to finish here and I'm going to change color remember this one is just uh, to show you what I'm doing the other one I will continue with the other one that's why I don't cut this yarn. So you're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this tail here. Now we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three, yarn over, and then the chain space you're gonna do a double crochet. And you're gonna do a double crochet on top of the treble crochet. It's exactly the same as this row in here. Yarn over, but I'm changing color, but if you like you can work with one color. You're going to continue doing this all the way around and remember on top of the corner here of the treble and the one in the center you're going to do two chain for separation. Once you finish there you're going to change yarn. I finished with this one, now I'm going to change to this one. This one I didn't cut it here, that way I don't have that many tails to lose. So I only had to lose the tail of these ones here. I already cut that one. So I'm going to do a slip stitch there and pull this one. And I did the change color. Now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to count one, two. And in the third space, I'm going to do a single crochet. Chain one, two, three and four, count one, two, and in the third single crochet. Now we are doing the repetition at the chain space in here. So like that you're going to continue working all the way around and you're going to repeat every single row as I did until you have the desired length. So I want to work on mine of camera and I'll let you know how many rows in total I will give to mine. Well I'm back to my studio. So half of the video was done in Cuba and the rest will be done in here. So last noise, yay! <laughs> After I work 
for a very big piece on my poncho. I tried it on and I realized that it was getting too wide. It was flaring out. So I changed my design from row number 9. But as I hear, after the row of chain 4 space. That was row number 8. And here, that way you see better. And this row here, after my first chain for uh, space here, row number eight, and the top I did four double crochet. So I leave, left that one like that. But in the next one here, in row number nine, I decided to do three double crochet instead. So after the row of chain four, you will do three in each space. Everything else stay the same. Now in row number 17, that is the one that I'm working now, and instead in the corners where we have the treble crochet, here we have a space of chain 2. We're gonna um, stop doing the chain 2 space and we're gonna do 3 double crochet and the next one 3 double crochet without, without that chain 2 in between. And we're going to continue this row just like that, with no chain spaces. After the row decrease, uh, the one that you did, the first one, uh, you should have to do uh, the row of treble. So it will be exactly the same. You skip one stitch, and then the next one you do your treble. You chain one. Turn over twice, skip one, and the next one you use treble. That stay exactly the same. I just wanted to show you, just in case you were confused, because I did the decrease of 4 to 3. Now we are at the corner where we're supposed to have the chain 2 space, but instead we have that double crochet there. So we're going to do on top of that double crochet or corner. So we're going to do a treble crochet. chain one, another treble crochet, chain one, and another treble crochet. So you'll have three in that mm, double crochet, three treble. So you're going to chain one, and you're going to skip one space and go to the next one and you do your treble. Like that you're going to continue all the way around. So everything stays the same. The only thing that I change is this decrease that I did. And instead of four, you will have three uh, double crochet. But in the treble, they stay the same. Everything else stays the same. Okay? So you will give you the length that you want for your poncho. Here in row number 24, I'm going to cut this yarn. And I'm going to work in row number 25 with this color. And after that, I will cut my yarn, lose the tails, and I will start doing some fringes with this color in the bottom of the piece. So row number 24 is this one with the loops of chain 4. Okay. And if you guys are working only with one color yarn, you don't need to cut your yarn. Just do row number 25 with the yarn you're working with, and then we'll, you will do the fringes with the same yarn. Now I'm going to finish this row number 25 with slip stitch, chain 1, cut the yarn, lose the tail. In total are 25 rows, so I'm going to give you the measurements as well. I measure from the center to the border here, and it measure 17 inches or 43 centimeters. Like this, we're going to put the fringes, and now I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. To do the fringes, you have to work through the wrong side of the piece. This is the wrong side. And this is the right side of the piece. So we're going to work from the wrong side. So I have this little box here that's going to be my measurements for the fringes. That way, all of them are the same. And this measures six inches. So I'm going to grab this yarn. You can do as many uh, strands of yarn as you like. You can combine this one with the other one. It's up to you, but I'm going to do all of them once this color, all my fringes. So I'm going to bring it here. I'm going to do it with four strands of yarn. 
So this is one. This is two. Each time I bring it to the bottom, in the back, that will be uh, the end of that one. And that one is three. And this one is four. I'm going to cut it here. And I'm going to cut this three in the center. Like that. Now I'm going to grab them here. Make sure they're evenly or even. And then you fold it in half. Make sure that they're all at the same length. If you have one or two that are a little longer, the ones that you start and end it with, you just trim it. And now with your crochet hook, remember this is the wrong side, and I'm leaving two uh, space a three double crochet in between its fringes, at least for now. So I pass it through here, pass it through with my crochet hook, take my crochet hook out, I'm going to pass this finger on my thumb, and then I'm going to grab the strand of yarn, pull it through that loop, and pull tight, and like that you have your fringes, nice and even. And you can tie it as tight as you like, and just like that. For now, I'm going to put mine in between two of these, mo these two, uh, three double crochet spaces. And if I found that there are too much of a separation in between, I will do one in the center here. But for now, I will do these ones. So I'm going to do it off camera because it's quite a few of them to do. And then I will show you the end result. Here I finished putting the fringes, and I will show you in my model. So the amount of yarn that I used was almost two ball of yarn at the mixed color, and almost one at the complementary color of this one. This is what I have left from the one ball that I used, and this one I used almost two. Well, here is the end result, and it looks fantastic, especially when you have it on. I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you made this piece and you want to send me some pictures you can do it through my Facebook page Ruby Stedman. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.